Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Chao Wang, a PhD student from the University of Science and Technology of China. And my advisor is Professor Zheng Fuhan. Um, it is my great honor to have this opportunity to have this talk in, the, in, in, in this conference. And uh, I will going to uh, introduce some recent progress of our group in, uh, of our group in MDI QKD. Mm, thanks to the committees of QQIP 2017, and thanks to uh, Professor Qiang Zhang for his introduction. In this talk, I will first introduce the uh, measurement device independent quantum key distribution, um, and uh, our motivations in practical scenarios. And then three specific schemes are presented. And finally comes the conclusion. Mm, different from the conventional cryptographic methods, um, quantum key distribution, together with one-time pad scheme, can provide a quantum physics-based method to distribute secure and identical keys for secret communications. Um, however, the flaws and the imperfections of real-life devices and systems will deviate from its theoretical model and thus compromise the practical security, uh, security of the entire system. This figure shows some of the imperfections as well as attacks of the practical QKD devices. Particularly, the detection part, as we can see, suffers from some fatal attacks, such as single photon detector blinding attack, which is able to, which is able to have a full control over the final results. Mm, to close these loopholes, we can either uh, deploy specific defensive systems to remove the corresponding security threats, or we can use the violation of bail inequality to construct for device independent protocol, um, but which are either not capable of some unknown attacks or not so uh, practical at present. Another approach is uh, MDI QKD. Based on the time reverse in time, uh, time reverse in, in, uh, in sorry, based on the time reverse in entanglement protocol, MDI QKD treats the measurement side as a black box and doesn't care about the details of the measurement process. The measurement devices can be even offered and totally controlled by the eavesdropper. Therefore, it is intrinsically immune to all possible detection attacks. Mm, comparing to conventional QKD protocols and uh, four device independent protocol, MDI QKD uh, provides a great balance between security and practicability. And it is very promising for uh, the uh, star type quantum secure networks where the detectors can be deployed as a shared server while the clients only hold quantum state preparation device, devices. However, the, uh, the reference frame shifts and the imperfections of the source sites uh, all have influences on the final security as well as the performance of the practical MDI system. So we have two goals. Um, one goal is to eliminate the calibration of reference frames, and second is to eliminate the source characterization of the imperfect quantum source. In MDI QKD, all the reference frames should be strictly aligned, including the coding reference frame as well as other physical dimensions. In polarization coding system, the coding reference frame means the polarization basis of different users, and it may be different from user to user. In the phase coding system, the uh, coding reference frame means the length difference or the phase difference between the uh, in the uh, of the uh, state preparation uh, interferometers, and it may be influenced by the environments and other and other physical dimensions, including the spectrum timing and polarization, all should be uh, kept identical for the efficient Hohmann-Mandel type uh, Bell state uh, uh, measurement. One of the reasons to eliminate the reference calibration is that in real life situations, these auxiliary processes are not that safe actually, and several alignment related attacks have been proposed to steal the secret information without introducing observable errors. And what's more, the overall performance of the system heavily relies on these alignment processes. They usually need extra equipment as well as time resources and may have doubtful performance in unstable environments. For example, in a star type MDI QKD network, the, uh, the, calibration, the calibrations among users may result in expensive overheads uh, 
uh, and heavily decrease the overall efficiency of the entire system. The reference frame independent protocol is then proposed to solve the calibration problem. In this protocol, the Z basis states are well defined and won't change with time, uh, while the X basis states and the Y basis states may vary with the uh, reference drift better. Here, both the X basis states and the additional Y basis states are utilized to compensate the reference drift as well as the system's deviation. Uh, and the C value, which is directly related to the X basis and Y basis results, can be, uh, will not change with beta theoretically and can be used to estimate the eavesdroppers information as well as the final secure key rates. Mm, according to this property, we propose the face coding a reference frame independent MDIQKD scheme that requires no face alignment between two distant parties. Experimentally, we need to prepare identical photons for the uh, efficient bell state measurements. By using wavelength locking lasers, we can uh, lock the wavelengths to an identical, uh, identical molecular absorption line with a center frequency accuracy about 10 megahertz. Uh, it guarantees the sufficient overlap in the spectrum. By using fine-tuned timing system, we can uh, trigger all the devices uh, with a resolution of 10 picoseconds, and it makes sure that the two laser pulses come to the measurement side at the same time. Um, and uh, to keep the polarization states identical, we check the homomental interference dip every 30 minutes, and we use an electrical polarization controller to, to search for the minimum interference dip to meet system's demands. And what's more, we use Faraday Michelson interferometer for the quantum state preparation. Um, where well, the optical switches determine the basis choice, and the phase modulator controls the detailed phase difference between two arms. Um, and uh, moreover, the reciprocating structure of the uh, Faraday Michelson interferometer improves the extension ratio of the optical switches and uh, prevents the polarization discrepancy between time beams. Mm, and finally, we get the, obtain the all uh, gains and yields in all bases, and, and uh, uh, we have the final results. To make the uh, RFI MDIQKD more practical, especially in extreme channel conditions, we make some further improvements. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Bell state measurements heavily relies on the indistinguishability of incident photons, uh, and it will have a uh, uh, and it will have a great impact on the uh, performance of the uh, stability as the performance as well as the key, key rates of the MDI systems. Actually, the wavelength locking lasers are sufficient for the uh, spectrum identity of different users, uh, and the timing reference calibration is not is also not a difficult task with today's techniques. Um, as a comparison, the birefringence uh, evolution in optical fibers um, uh, can be affected and accumulated by numerous environmental disturbances. Some previous works have demonstrated the dramatic and rapid variation of the, um, uh, of the, of the, of the polarization states in optical fiber links, including the underground fiber and the arrow fiber. Um, the ambient environmental disturbances, um, such as temperature, stress, and the electrical currents, all have effects on the final polarization states. Uh, this un uh, this uh, unpredictable and uncontrollable uh, change will definitely uh, create considerable challenges in uh, practical MDI systems and decrease the final secure key rate. Uh, for this problem, we further improve the system and develop the polarization scrambling units to counteract the polarization instability of field links. Together with the separative detection structure, we proposed and verified the MDIQVD scheme that is stable against uh, environmental disturbances, and the uh, uh, secu final secure key rate will be insensitive to both the um, polarization fluctuations as well as the reference, reference fa uh, phase reference drift. Uh, moreover, the calibrations of, of the primary reference frames are removed in our scheme. Uh, this will, uh, this property prevents extra information leakage uh, 
reduces the resource consumptions and improve the uh, if, uh, final efficiency of the entire system in, in extreme channel conditions. Sorry. Another important problem is the inevitable state preparation flaws. Uh, in real life systems, the devices are not perfect and it will change with time. Applied voltages may suffer from drift, fluctuations, and so on. Under the condition of the secure measurement process, the eavesdroppers may turn to attack the source sites to steal the secret information in MDI system. To take the source imperfection into consideration, uh, previous works uh, call for the absolute characterization of the prepared quantum states, and they usually need additional trusted devices and other resources, making the system complicated and not that practical in real world situation. Um, with the help of the mismatched basis data, we proposed that scheme, and it doesn't need the, the, uh, need the state, state characterization or systems modification. Let's briefly illustrate why mismatched basis data can be used to estimate eavesdroppers information. Uh, in the original MDI QKD, the Z basis states and the X basis states are well defined. So it's just uh, or, uh, perfect BB84 states. And the successful projection probability of the incident quantum states can be given in this table. Mm, the, fir uh, the first row shows the projection probability when Alice and Bob sends both the Z basis states or the X basis states, while the second row represents the probability when Alice and Bob send quantum states from different bases, which are the mismatched basis states statistics and ought to be rejected in the original protocol. Um, Let's suppose an extreme case where the quantum sources are offered and totally controlled by the eavesdropper, and she sends the same states in both the Z basis and the X basis in this way. Unfortunately, uh, in this case, all secret information can be stolen by malicious Eve, and uh, no error will occur if we only follow the original protocols. So. Um, now, on the other hand, the mismatched basis statistics exhibit totally different results. So uh, it can be used to uh, 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 briefly uh, illustrate it. It can be used to, uh, to bound the EVE's information. Um, based on this idea, we proposed a, a MDI QKD scheme with uncharacterized quantum states and a, a realized an experimental system to verify its feasibility. Mm. In, in our system, the error characterization is no longer needed, and we only require uh, that the quantum states are prepared in two-dimensional help of space. With the help of the mismatched basis data, we can rebound EU's information uh, directly uh, and uh, obtain the final secure key rate, which provides a uh, MDI uh, QKD system a higher uh, practical security with a simpler construction. Okay, in conclusion, we proposed and realized uh, several schemes to mitigate the potential security thre thre threats uh, and uh, the resource consumption of the practical MDI system, especially in multi-user network and extreme channel environments. We first eliminate the calibration of coding reference frame of the MDI system, making it possible to deliver secret keys without active phase reference alignments. Uh, we, and we then further eliminate the polarization alignments, minimize the calibration requirements, and make it uh, capable of extreme channel conditions. Third, we take the source imperfection into consideration and realize the MDI system uh, with a higher security while no need to uh, characterize the error uh, uh, quantum states. And thank you very much.